The FDA chief planning more meetings with e-cig makers, saying that the manufacturers and management are to blame for kids getting hooked on them. Joining us now, Dr. Mark Siegel. So, Dr. Siegel, are you happy with this move? Well, I think it's great that he's meeting with them, and I think his heart's in the right place. Dr. Scott Gottlieb, head of FDA, the problem is that that may not necessarily solve the problem. It's a huge epidemic going on, Charles. 78% increase of e-cigs since last year alone, 2 million teens using e-cigs, including Juul, which is the one that looks like it's plugging into a sure. computer that's over 70% of the market. And by the way, another 2 million are using it for marijuana, for vaping marijuana. So this is an enormous problem. But one thing that the FDA did that I like is they got them to take the flavored e-cigs, the ones that look like sure. bubble gum sure. and that look like cucumber, out of the stores, but still there is menthol and mint, and a lot, that's the majority of it. People use it for menthol, mint, tobacco flavor. I think what wor worries me is that uh, reading between the lines, uh, the reason for this meeting is that these manufacturers, particularly since Juul is being acquired, a gigantic uh, acquisition, and Huge. getting the muscle of, of these mainstream cigarette makers is that they're going to continue to push these products. They're not going to do the bubblegum stuff, but essentially what they're telling the FDA is, we're going to push out these products, and if you don't want us to, you're going to have to take us to court. Yeah, and here's why they're going to get away with this. 60% of, of kids out there don't even know that there's nicotine in, in Juul and e-cigarettes. Guess what? There's as much nicotine in there as a pack of cigarettes in a pod, of, uh, one pack of cigarettes in a pod of Juul. Really? Yes. And here's the other wow. thing that they're not telling you, Charles. Yes, they're cutting down on social media. Yes, they're taking flavors out of the stores. Yes, they may check a little more to see if you're 18 or over because it's illegal to buy it under 18. Guess how it works? In high school, one guy buys all of it and then sells it to everybody else in the high school. So it's not like they can really, really stop the flow of this. It's still going to continue to go might, up. Just might be about uh, consumer awareness then. I want to ask That's you about part of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, flu season on the rise. Uh, you have always pounded the table about this. You always said get the vaccination. Too bad Stewart's not here to give you a hard time because I happen to agree with you. I was against them for a while, to be quite frank with you, uh, but more recently uh, I've, I've been getting them as well. Um, that's, I'm really glad to see that. Because... I've been listening to Dr. Siegel. Okay, so here's why, here's why, Charles. First of all, and, and Stuart, this year I'm going to come on and give him a flu shot. With any, he's not even looking. When he looks the other way, he gets a flu shot. But, but you know why? Because only 40% of Americans take a flu shot every year. This year, it's a really good match for the strains that are out there prevailing. Oh, so it's going to work this it's year. Because work. it's like hit or miss. This is the one reason people don't like to take it. It feels like, all right, you know what? It didn't really work this year, but we'll roll the dice again next year. People it's working this year. And okay. you know what it really works at more than anything else, and no one ever talks about this? It prevents spread to other people who may be more at risk. It's a right. community-minded thing I get to them. do. If there's yeah. a pregnant woman in your house, if there's a chronically ill person in their house, somebody in your house, somebody very old or very young, you get a flu shot, chances are much less they're going to get the flu. Doc Siegel, Happy New Year. Did I convince you? You already convinced, I brought, you already convinced me a couple yeah. years ago. Plus, I had some personal I convince you guys? <laughs> I already took my shot. I got a free one here at Fox. 